Manuel Fernandez is an accomplished actor and author with extensive experience in theatre, movies and television. Manuel's book, The Rocky Approach to Life, offers readers a powerful message that trials and tribulations are no different than fighting in the boxing ring, and that with the proper training, anyone can overcome their fears and regrets. And Manuel joins us now. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm excellent, thank you. Now, in your book, you, of course, say that the trials and tribulations of life are no different to fighting in a boxing ring. Just explain that analogy, really, and how it relates to your own life. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the of, of the Rocky movies. And, um, for example, uh, you know, you know how, how, how in every Rocky movie, there's there's always that villain, right? Yes. Uh, Paul Cree, um, Drago. Uh, uh, got a uh, club relaying. So, it, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, once, you know, once Rocky defeats, you know, Apollo Cree, right. He's thinking, okay, I got, I got over that mountain over, over that hump, but then here comes club relaying, you know, and then, okay, I, I, I beat him, um, got over that hump. All right. Here comes, you know, Drago. So yeah. it's kind of the same philosophy of, you know, even, even if you achieve a goal or if you slay that dragon, um, there's, still always going to be you know another obstacle another mountain to climb and i think um that's good because it keeps people motivated and it it doesn't keep them complacent you know so so you're 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 always hungry and you always have that uh eye of the tiger yeah would you say there are some people who maybe lack motivation or mental and or physical strength and maybe wouldn't fight things off in the same way that rocky would yeah. 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 And, and, and I think it's, you know, it, it also comes from, uh, you know, th- this is going to sound weird, but losing, um, you know, I think uh, if, for me, I learned the most and I grew as a person when I lost, whether yeah. it was, you know, not getting that promotion or, or not fulfilling that goal or having my heart broken or, you know, whatever the, the, the case may be. I, I, I grew more as a person. I learned more about life and I became a stronger, you know, more focused person when I was losing, when everything was going great. You know, I, 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 I was complacent. I didn't lose. I mean, I, I didn't uh, learn anything. And so, um, you know, and it's one of those things where, you know, I heard uh, before it's like, you know, if you're not, if you're not losing, then you're not trying. And the book is described as a knockout punch to yeah. your problems. Yeah. That sounds like it could be a very easy fix and it's quick and happens overnight. But do these things take time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it it, it, it takes time. Um, You know, for uh, to become on your face um, thousands of times, you know, it's that one... Um, Oh God! What is it? The uh, 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 I'm trying. I'm trying to think here. Uh, Rocky says it to his son in, in, in this quote that that I love. It's you know, ain't it about hard you can get? It's about hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. So, so yeah, it doesn't matter if you're if you're the the biggest person on the playground or you know, it's it, it's it's about getting hit, and getting knocked down, and then getting back up. Yeah. Um, because that's what life is, is really all about. It's it's because. It, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, if, if you work at McDonald's or or if you're the CEO of, of Apple, right? You're always going to have trials and tribulations. I mean, people are just going to have problems. It doesn't matter your social, eco- you know, economic status, where you are. It You're always going to have problems. It's I For me, it's how you deal with those problems. That's what kind of defines you and helps you grow as a person. Yeah, it's a great leveler, actually. As yeah. you say, no matter your socioeconomic group or race, gender, whatever... We yeah. all have problems. When people are knocked down, do you think a lot of people just often stay down and lose hope? Yeah, I do. And, and you know, and it's really, it's, it's, it's tough to get up and it's real easy just to, to, to stay down. Um, yeah. You know, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, maybe like suffer from depression or if they get, or if they're, 
you know, the, uh, going through a bad breakup or like I said, or, or they're not, or they, they, they uh, don't get that promotion or they get passed over yeah. and it keeps happening over and over and over. And, you know, a lot of times people just either out of um, just being tired from getting beat by life or just become complacent. And, you know, a lot of times they have that mindset of, you know, it's just, it's not going to happen. Life, you know, I'm, I'm going to take what life has given me. And um, a lot of the times, you know, that's, uh, that's how people fail, I think, is yeah. they just take what life gives them instead of going out and taking it themselves. And it's 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 easy to say. It's hard to do because you have to have that 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 mindset. And like I said, um, getting, you know, this might sound crazy, but getting knocked down will help you, um, you know, uh, kind of like a, you know, a, a, a runner. Right. You yeah. know, he, you know, he's he or she is uh, they're they're training for that marathon. So. So for the first, I don't know, the first week, they do half a mile, then it's a mile, you know, and they're, they're gas, but then they get that, that stamina. It's like, okay, well now I can go a mile. Okay. I can go a mile and a half, two, three, four. And I, and that's the same thing with getting knocked down in life. It's getting back up and it takes stamina. Um, yeah. And unfortunately some people, you know, just kind of give up. Yeah. And if you get knocked down repeatedly in a very short space of time, does that make you more likely to just lose stamina? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I think so. Um, it, it happened to me um, more than, more on one, more than, you know, 10, 20 occasions. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's tough. It, it, it really is. It's tough to get back up because you're thinking to yourself, well, this is where I'm supposed to be, right? Life has taught me or, you know, that there's that, that I'm nothing or there's nothing nothing for me. Um, so this is where I should be. This is, you know, what God intended or, you know, or whoever. Um, and it's, it, it really, it's tough to get back up, but, um, yeah. but the mindset is okay. I learned, like I said, you know, it could be anything heartbreak, uh, not, not, you know, a, a certain job or, you know, goal that you're, that you just can't seem to, to fulfill. And it, it's going to take longer and longer and longer. And um, it's just, you know, our, our uh, as humans, we're, we're built to, you know, if it gets if it gets tough. I'm not saying all of us, but a lot of us, you know, if it gets too tough, we just we just kind of quit. Yeah. Um, instead of just taking that lesson, okay, why am I? Okay, you know, just take a breath, stand back. I'm not, I'm not fulfilling my goal. I'm not doing this. I'm not, okay, you know, I'm going to come out at, at it from a different angle. Do this, that, or you know, if if I'm not getting, you know, what I'm going to go to somebody who knows more than me and pick their brain. So you know, and I, and I think a lot of people just kind of get frustrated and just want to do it themselves, and um, you, you don't have to. You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> now you've got a background in being an author and an actor. Do you have a background in boxing at all? In in uh, uh, martial arts. I've been yeah. practicing martial arts for over 25 years, I'm going to say. God, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm old. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, um, in Kaji Kimbo um, and uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, and I'm, you know, and I've, I've, and I, for me, it, it, martial arts saved my life. Um, cause when I, you know, I was growing up, I grew up in the foster system. Um, you know, I was living on the streets as, as a teenager, I was in a gang, I was in and out of juvenile hall. Martial arts saved my life. Um, without, you know, without martial arts, I always tell people without martial arts, I'd be dead or in jail right now. Wow. So, um, yeah. So, and then, um, it's it just, you know, I like I said, uh, the, the martial arts kind of really taught me how to be a man, how how to how the world really works, and um, from there, just these ideas just came. I mean, I saw the world from a different view in terms of like, uh, you know, reading. I was a terrible student in school, but yeah. um, you know, I started to read, started to read like three, four, five different books, you know, at a time, just on everything: politics, religion, uh, philosophy, you wow. know, history. And um, from there, you know, I, I just I started writing and, and uh, you know, I finished my first novel a couple of years back and in short stories and I got into acting. And then, uh, the you know, like I said, and then uh, the the Rocky approach to life book, um, I, 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 I just had a just um, an idea from just being, a, you know, a Rocky fan. I was a Rocky fan. Yeah. Uh, but, my, you know, even when I was a kid, I could barely walk. 
Uh, you know, I, I was a Rocky fan. Yeah. So I like, okay, well, why not put the, the, the principle, core principles into a book? And, and that's, you know, just kind of what I did. And- yeah. The title kind of has a double meaning almost because it's, of course, the Rocky approach to life as in Rocky Balboa from the right. films Rocky. But some people could view their life as being Rocky, Rocky. as an adjective. Yeah, 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 yeah true. True. And, and it's one of those things to where, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, if you're a Rocky fan, um, you know, you, you would, you're, you'll get that, you, you'll get the, yeah. you know, the, uh, the definition of the, uh, you know, the actual, um, uh, title. Yeah. Um, but, 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 but then I, I, I had somebody tell me too, like, well, um, I wasn't a big Rocky Balboa fan, but when I saw it, when I saw the title, the Rocky approach to life, it was like, okay, huh? It sounds negative, but, mm. but, um, but, but, but to them, they, they, they were curious because it's like, okay, the Rocky approach to life, and it doesn't, that doesn't sound normal, but let me check it out. And then that's when they found out it was, you know, based on the, the Rocky characters. And they, yeah. and, and they actually, you know, ended up, uh, uh, liking the book. So, wow. So, yeah, it could, it could work both ways. <laughs> <laughs> and you're currently working on a one man play about your yes. life. What inspired you to create this play and what kind of things can we expect to see? Well, uh, what what really motivated me was, um, uh, well, I was, I was, uh, on a, on a, on a set doing an acting gig and I was, you know, we were in between scenes and I was telling somebody about my my life, about everything that I went through as a kid and what I saw and, you know, and she was like, you got to do something with this. And and I'm like, what do you, and and she, she said, well, is, is this all true? What you told me? I said, yeah, everything is, she said, you got to do something you either you write a book uh a play screenplay something but you got to do something with this and so that gave me that you know put a put an idea you know that the light bulb went off my head okay what about a one-man play yeah you know and then um during during the, the so i i just i i started writing and started you know uh and then during the the uh the, the pandemic um uh the actor chaz palmentary he was he was actually um uh, uh what, what's it called uh, teaching um uh, one-on-one zoom classes mm. so i ended up taking probably about two of his classes a month and you know, and and he he I I consider him like the the godfather of one man of one man shows. Yeah. So and I really picked his brain. Um. And he he's you know he's he was a huge help for me. Um. Just to, just and you know just telling me his story about how he got his one man show um, um produced, but also you know what went into it. You know the the whole battle. Um, but, uh, and for me, it's, it's, it's a little bit therapeutic, but I think that, and it, and it is, it is really dark, but I think there's something in it for, for everybody. Um, you know, even, even if you've never been through that, but I also talk about, uh, mental health, depression, uh, you know, I, I, I almost, uh, uh, committing suicide. Um, I talk about a lot of stuff that, that I went through that, you know, I think the average person would be like, yeah. I, I didn't, you know, I, the gang stuff or the growing up in the, the, the foster system, I can't really relate to that. But mental health and going through this or or, or seeing my, my parents fight or, you know, about domestic abuse. Yeah, I, I can relate to that. So there's something in it, I think, for, for everybody. And did you struggle to fit all your years of experience into just one play? Did you have to leave out anything that would be quite funny or interesting? Yeah, but, yeah, because uh, my, my, my original script was about four hours. <laughs> and <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I was working with, with with this lady who was, and, and she helped me and she was like, okay, you have to, you got to compact it, man, you know? Yeah. Um, and uh, so that that that's what I did. I, I I put the the bulk of it in there, and you know, compacted it. Um, but if I were to, you know, and that's why I, I might I might write a book about about everything because. Uh, yeah, if I told the entire story, uh, I, I think people would would sit there and, and listen to it because it is dark, and and it, and it will kind of keep you on your seat, you know. But um, it's just it's too long, you know. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, you know, nobody's going to sit through five hours of anything. I mean, I <laughs> but the best way to cut it is just get rid of the interval, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's why I, you know I, I I might write a book, um, yeah. just about it, I, everything um, later on, you know. So, so if your whole life was a boxing match, 
At what point do you think you are now? At what round are you currently in? And are you winning or are you on the floor getting your head smashed in? I think both. I, I think both. I, I, I don't th- I don't think that you ever, and this is kind of me, you know, now that I'm getting older, um, hopefully I'm getting wiser, but I see things differently. Yeah. Um, I realize that there's going to be victories in life. Um, sometimes, you know, a lot of them are going to be short victories. And then there's going to be losses in life as well. And I think even as you age, age, um, that's never going to go away. You know, you're, you're always going to have problems and, 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 um, solutions to those problems, but also victories. And I think that that never goes away. I, I think it's more of how you handle it, you know, handle those, those, those victories as, you know, as well, not get too high, mm-hmm. not, you know, uh, and the, the losses and not get too low. Um, and just in between have that balance and kind of, um, enjoy life because it is, because it is short. What's coming up for you other than this one man play? Is there anything else that you're working on at the moment? Um, right now I'm working on a serial uh novel um that that i publish i, I publish um one new chapter a week on um it, uh, it's called uh, uh kindle vela so you know it, it's it, it's the equivalent of of watching you know your your favorite uh television series you know that that, that one episode you know every you look forward to it every every tuesday <laughs> so it's so it, it's the same thing with 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 my book um and it's called uh devonwood nice and in the meantime this current book is called the rocky approach to life where are all the places that it's available right now it's uh it's available on amazon um so you can buy you know on amazon um, um, I've, I, in the in the past probably month or so, um, I, I've gotten you know I've done a little bit more advertising with that, um, and uh, I, I've gotten some real good good feedback. Uh, I, I uh, this one lady was she's uh, God, where did she live? I'm, I think it was the UK. Oh, and she and she actually reached out to me, and she and she she told me that 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 she was having uh, a chronic anxiety and. Um, uh, she said uh, one of the chapters actually helped her, helped her relax, helped her, helped her calm, and and she and she reached out to me and told me that. So um, that for me that that was just so awesome that, that she did that, you know. So yeah. Um, yeah, so there's there's something for everybody in this book, you know. It, it's not just about winning, but it's also about handling losing, you know, because we're all going to lose in life. That, that that's just there's 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 no getting around it. We're all going to fail. We're all going to fail. So it's just how you handle it. Yeah. Well, many thanks for talking to us today. It's been great having you on. Thank you. It's my pleasure.